OK, let's take a look at one more example of what it means to add two vectors together. I'm going to take vectors u and v, and I'm going to be sticking with two dimensions uh, for this example. And I'm also going to stay in quadrant one just at the moment, just so that you can see what's actually happening. And then we'll show how what we're about to talk about just now applies to vectors in all, all of the other quadrants. So let's take uh, u, vector u equals 1, 5, and we'll let vector v equal 4, 2. And algebraically, algebraically, we know that what it means to add these two vectors together is just that we add the first components of u and v together. 1 plus 4 is 5. And then we add the second components together. 5 plus 2 is 7. But what's happening graphically? Let's take a look. I'll do, let's put some tick marks on here first. I'll do vector u in pink. 1, 5 is 1, 2, 3, 4, that's about here. So vector u looks like this. And I'll do vector v in blue, that's 4, 2. And that's going to put me about there. So there's vector v. Didn't do the greatest job with those two vectors. But now what I want to do is I'm going to do vector u plus v. This is a new vector. I might call it w, for example. But it's the result of adding two vectors together. It is still a vector. But I want to take a look at what it looks like uh, graphically as well. So that's 5, 7. Let's go 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I need one more tick mark here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, about there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7. Looks like it's about there. I'm having trouble getting this to, drawing this the way it, it should look. So there is vector w, which is really vectors u and v combined by addition. And what I'd like you to observe about vector u plus v is that it's actually the diagonal of a parallelogram. If I kind of superimpose another copy of vector u here and another copy of vector v here, then I end up with a parallelogram. The two sides opposite each other are parallel. The two sides in pink opposite each other are parallel. And they're the same length. And this new vector that I got by adding them together is the diagonal of that parallelogram. OK, so let's take a look at, let's remind ourselves what um, Vector subtraction looks like algebraically. U minus V is going to be component wise 1 minus 4, 5 minus 2. So let's put that one down in green. Uh, the vector U minus V is negative 3, 3. I need some more tick marks. I need some out here. Negative 3, 3. So I'm going to be about there. to get the right color. There's the vector I get when I subtract v from u. And it's kind of hard to see what's happening with this one. There's no parallelogram, or not an obvious one anyway. But I'm going to take another, I'm going to draw over vector v here, making another copy of it, and drag it out of the way here just for a moment. And I'm going to remind us that u minus v is the same as u plus negative v. And so that means that I can add the vector u, which is this pink vector here, to this vector here, which is negative v. And I'm also going to remind us that what it means to be the opposite of a vector is that it takes that same vector and puts it at the, the origin and then turns it around. I can't turn it around in this software, but what I will do is Let's do this. I'll erase the, the arrow head and show you that that is just, that's going to go on the other side now. And I will drag, I have to do it in parts here, drag the, the vector so that it's at the origin. So that's now negative v. And if you take a look at the 
parallelogram properties, I'm going to have a parallelogram made by uh, another side just like side u, vector u here. That's going to go here. And another copy of negative v, which is this vector here, is going to go here. So I do still get a parallelogram. My drawing skills are being taxed. There's a very good reason I don't teach art. But what I can show you here is that this parallelogram is the result of adding those two vectors together. And this parallelogram, doesn't look like a parallelogram, but it, it should, is the result of subtracting those two vectors. I kind of want to go back for just a second. There's something I something kind of important that I left out here. I'm going to grab another copy of vector v. And I want to show you that what it really means to add two vectors together in terms of um, thinking about it geometrically is to u plus v, u plus v, is to take vector u and to add to it vector v. Oops, got the wrong tool there. And to add vector v means to take the, the tail of vector v, the, the uh, initial point, and add it to the tip or the head or the terminal point of vector, uh, vector u. So this is what u plus v looks like. And the result is this vector here. It starts at the tail of u and ends at the tip of v. So all of these things kind of tie together. Right? You'll notice that we when we did u plus v algebraically, we got this 5 comma 7, and we just graphed it initially. We just graphed the vector u, uh, u plus v, 5 comma 7. But when we do that, we end up with this um, sort of a side, a parallel side to, um, to vector v, right? A side, a copy, basically, of vector v moved up so that it's tacked on to the end of vector u. Again, my having drawn this by hand initially, these things aren't quite lining up the way they should. So the, this really should be, the, the tail really should be exactly on the end, uh, the tip of vector u, but the tip of vector v really should be right there, matching the tip of vector u plus v. But the idea here is that this, this is what it means to add two vectors together graphically speaking. You end up at the same place if you add two vectors together algebraically you end up at the same place as you do when you add them together geometrically. If I take a copy of negative v here and move it to so that its tail is at the tip of vector u then again my drawing is not up to scratch here but you can see that what should be happening here is that the point that we ended up at, negative 3, 3, just by graphing this subtracted result, graphing it directly, negative 3, 3, is also the result we get when we take vector u and add to the end of it a copy of the negative of vector v. This guy right here, add that to the end of it. And these two should actually be, that these two arrowheads should be in the same place. They're, they're mismatched because I didn't draw it accurately enough to begin with. Um, in fact, I can kind of see that 3 is really more like out here. So maybe this would be a better vector u minus w, or u minus v, rather. Um, so that's where the parallelogram rule comes from. It comes from the fact that what we're really doing when we add a vector to another vector is we're tacking it on to the end, so to speak. And what we're doing then is we're creating a, a side here parallel to the original side that was vector v and it consequently we end up with a, a missing kind of a missing side here but there's also a, a parallel a side parallel to vector u so there's a parallelogram here and what that does is gives us the the point to which the vector u plus v must point to satisfy both the graphical interpretation and the algebraic one now just to be consistent uh, we need to sh I need to show you that we we can also didn't mean to do that in yellow but I guess it's okay we can also take combinations of u and v such as let's go with um, u plus
plus 2v. And that's really, algebraically, that's really just 1 comma 5 plus 2 times 4 comma 2, which simplifies to 1 comma 5 plus 8 comma 4, which simplifies further to 9 comma 9. Well, that's convenient. Coincidental, but convenient. If I graph u, I'm going to go with really small tick marks here because otherwise I'll run out of room before I get to 9, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And I have 6, 7, 8, 9. u, I'll go with pink again, is 1, 5. So that is 2, 3, 4, 5, about there. And V is blue. I'll graph that one again. That's 4, 2, which is about there. And in yellow, I'm going to graph 9, comma 9, which is way up here. Pen doesn't seem to be working. Here it comes. Let me try that again. And so there's 9 comma 9. There's the result of the mechanical algebraic addition of these two vectors, u and the new vector 2v, the vector I got by, by scaling v by 2. But I can also show you now that if I take another copy of vector v, which I have down here, and tack it on to the existing copy of vector v, then I have that's the vector 2v. And then if I take a copy of the vector 2v, and tack it on to the end of vector u, I end up at the same place. So I can add two vectors together. I can subtract two vectors by adding the opposite of the second vector. I can add combinations of vectors with scaled copies of vectors, and so on. Don't forget that you can also add the opposites of vectors. So for example, uh, I might want to add u plus negative 3v, or I might want to add negative 2u minus 2v, or plus negative 2v, or I might want to add uh, 2v and negative 5u. And in each case, what I'm going to do is scale the vector as appropriate, and if it's necessary to flip it around so it's pointing in the other direction first. I'm going to do that for, for subtraction. And then I'm going to take the second vector after I've scaled it and after I flipped it and tack its tail, its, its initial point, onto the head or the terminal point of the first vector, or in this case, the scaled flipped first vector, right? So I can do all of these things. Uh, all of this constitutes um, vector addition and subtraction.